And John Sawat used to like to say that when we're meditating, we're doing a high-level form of work. So we should lift our minds up to it with a sense of confidence, a sense of inspiration. So we're fortunate we have this opportunity. Think of all the beings in the world who can't meditate, even among human beings. Very few people have the time and the opportunity. So now that we do have the opportunity, make the most of it. Pay full attention to what you're doing. As the John Sawa would also say, don't just go through the motions. When you focus on the breath, really focus on the breath. Stay with it as continually as you can. Watch out for any unskillful qualities in the mind. Develop the skillful qualities. This is a blessing, the Buddha said. When you can watch your own mind, and you can see that certain impulses that come in are going to be unskillful, and you can say no. When you say no, when you make the no stick, that's a blessing. When you say yes to skillful qualities and make that stick, that's also a blessing. Here's a whole sutta on the different forms of blessing. In the old days, blessings would come from your parents or your grandparents. They tie a little string around your wrist, say a few words. They're supposed to bless you, protect you. And the Buddha's discussion of blessings is all about things you do. You act in a skillful way. You speak in a skillful way. You think in a skillful way. That's how you bless yourself. So as you're meditating, it's the best form of mental blessing. Because it's through the meditation that you develop discernment, through discernment that the mind gains release. And once it's released, then it can be touched by the ways of the world. In other words, gain, loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, and pain, and not be affected. The image in the canon is a stone column, sixteen spans tall, eight spans buried in the ground. So the winds come from the different directions and the column doesn't shake. That kind of mind is the ultimate blessing. Where does it come from? It comes from what you're doing right now. Paying careful attention to your breath, careful attention to what the mind is doing in the present moment. And doing your best to do this skillfully. It's from there that all the good things come.